Yeah, we got the energy. Three strikeouts in a row, nine and all. Boy, Snell. That was one of the better curveballs you're going to see from Blake Snell. Wow. Blake, thanks for joining us today, man. I, I want to get right into it. It, it, it was a rough year uh, for you this season, and moving from a team that you've been with your entire professional career, it's got to be pretty difficult. Yeah, and I, I knew that coming in, uh, just from talking to you know all the guys that were with Tampa before me that left. They said the same thing, like it's going to be tough, it's not the same, everything's different. Change some things, keep some things the same, but it's a, it's a big learning, you know, learning curve that you have to go through. I've always just been focused on, you know, the process and being the best me I can be every day. And if I do that, I feel like I have a good chance of succeeding at a very high level. Is it hard to stay with that mindset of focusing on how you feel as opposed to results when things aren't going well? As much as, you know, people want to get on me to be better and all of that, I'm already on myself harder than you, so right. what you say to me doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm gonna find a way, you know, to get the results, but also I understand that it, it takes time. And, right. and the, the more that I learn and the more that I struggle, the better off I'll be in the long run. You learned a lot from kind of the struggles. Expand on that a little bit. What, what well, kind of stuff you learned? Yeah, I mean, there was a lot I learned. It was all little things that, you know, added up, but um, my arm angle, for, for instance, and how I release my pitches, that, that was something that was different um, this year than it was in other years. Just being more focused on the things that I'm trying to accomplish. I'm going to do these things, I'm going to change, and I'm going to get a lot better from it. Uh, and I did, and now the results are coming in. I was never really worried, it was just once I hit my stride and I figured out all my things out, then I could start to you know, play better baseball and get the results. Snellzilla's got 13 strikeouts today. Ties a career high. But I'm confident in myself, confident really in just me as a human. One of the things that I, I appreciate about you is how candid you were throughout that whole process. Why was that, why did that seem to be so easy for you when most guys, they struggle with that part? I'm okay with what's happened because everything, uh, all that failure, made me that much better for, for what's to come. I could sit in failure and be completely content because I already know in my head what the outcome's gonna be from that. But now I'm gonna succeed more than usual, and I believe that 100%. It's gotta be pretty fun to all of a sudden find your stride, really when this ball club needs you to be at your best, really coming down the stretch here. I think I have a lot to offer, especially, you know, since the last couple years we've been in it uh, with Tampa and now being here, for us to have fun and then start to believe, get that swag back, that can really, you know, lift us. And then we make the playoffs and we go in with, with this kind of confidence and energy, a lot of good things can happen. Getting down, obviously, the stretch here, what does this ball club need to do to finish atop the, the wild card that it gets you guys into this dance? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing, we got to compete every day. Um, the obvious answer is we got to win, but I think the biggest thing is for us to start having fun, loving each other, and showing up with that swag. And we do that, we get the ball rolling. It could be scary after uh, after September's over. Well, Blake, good luck the rest of the way, brother. Yeah. Appreciate you coming. Appreciate it, brother. Spending some time with you. Yeah.